In today's video, we'll be making the Mammoth Paracord Bracelet. Here is the back, here's the front. What are we gonna need today? We need six feet of yellow, 12 feet of red, five eighths, five eighths inch buckles. I've added an inch and a half for comfort, a lighter, a fid, and a pair of scissors. Let's get started. I'm using a fid to put the yellow paracord through the cow hitch here. Then I make an overhand knot, just a little bit at the end. It's going to keep the yellow cord from going out of place. I'm going to make the bracelet. What we're first going to do is again, these are our core strands. I'm going to separate three on the right, one on the left. Take my right red cord, pass it over underneath those three, and then through itself. Now, this is the only one that's going to not really repeat the pattern because there's really no place to stick the cord here. Right, next. It's going to go through the center underneath two core strands on the right and through that loop we just made and we're going to tighten the right red cord do that first next tighten the yellow okay this is the only time this one's going to look this way when we first start now we're going to start the pattern. We're going to take the left cord, go over three strands, four strands on the left, separate one on the right, pass through that opening, then pass it underneath those three. Take the yellow, two strands on the right, two strands on the left, pass it through. We're going over this cord here underneath and then through that left loop we had made with the red cord. Again, sometimes with this bracelet, uh, my thumbs will get in the way, but it shouldn't really interfere with me with the pattern of how it's getting made. Cause you know, that's a big thing for a lot of people is thumbs getting in the way, but sometimes thumbs need to get in the way for getting things tightened. Just forewarning you. All right. Next, we are going to take the red end on the left, tighten that up, take the yellow, tighten that. You may have to manipulate the yellow every, every once in a while, especially when you first start. Take an emerging pattern. Now we're going to take the right working end, 
go over three core strands on top, separate one on the left, and then go underneath and then through itself. Next thing we're going to do, separate two on the left, two on the right. Take the yellow cord, pass it over, two cords, two strands on the left, and then pass it underneath, and then through the loop on the right. So one thing to keep in mind is that the yellow will always go with the working end that's being used. So again, the reason why I'm sort of pinching it is it helps condense, compact that knot. I like getting my knots really tight because if you get a knot really tight, it helps create the pattern to be symmetric or asymmetric depending on what the pattern is. Okay, next we're gonna take three on three strands on the left, one on the right, take the left working end, over three working, sorry, over three core strands, and then underneath, and then through itself. Take the yellow, the core strands, two on the right, two on the left, pass it through the middle, underneath, and then through the loop on the left, and then tighten. Next, we're going to take the right working end, separate three core strands on the right, one on the left, pass it over, underneath, and through itself. Take the yellow working end, take two strands on the right, two on the left, pass it through the middle, and through that red loop we just made. Tighten it up. First with the red, next with the yellow, it is the left turns, time to go, we have three on, three core strands on the left, one on the right, pass it through that opening, underneath and through itself. Separate the core strands, two on the right, one and two on the left. Sit through the center, underneath, and through itself. Start tightening by using the red cord. Next, the yellow cord. Now we'll take the right working end, separate three on the right, one on the left for the core, pass it through that opening, underneath and through itself. Now we'll take the yellow, separate the core strands, two on the right, two on the left, pass it through the middle, and through the loop we had just made on the right. Next, we'll take the red end on the right, tighten that up. Then the yellow. Now we're going to work on the left. Now we separate the core strands, three on the left, one on the right. The left working end, go over those three, underneath, and through. Next thing we're going to do, separate two core strands on the right, two on the left, take the yellow cord, pass it through that opening, underneath and through. Tighten the left red cord. 
Now the yellow. Separate three core strands on the right, one on the left. Get the right working end, go over three, then back underneath and through itself. Take the yellow, separate the core strands, two on the right, two on the left, pass it through the middle, and then through itself, or I should say through the red loop we just made, tighten this up and continue the pattern. Now we finish the pattern. Let's try it on before we finish it. So again, there's the front. There's the back. I'm going to be leaving this on temporarily, or let me just leave it on since it's already finished off. It's going to lay flush. There it is, the Mammoth Paracord Bracelet. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Have a good day. Thank you for watching.